morning you guys i am literally just coming off of my flight in amsterdam i'm here at amsterdam airport i'm gonna be in transit here for about three four hours and i just discovered this perfume shop and i was like why not indulge a little bit i have time all right so like i said to you guys i'm literally gonna indulge and smell some fragrances some perfumes that i always had my eyes on and have never gotten a chance to smell like this purple one you guys know how i feel about dolce actually oh i've never smelled the red one focus you guys if you guys know how i feel about dolce and cabana you understand my obsession i love these two fragrances and i think i need to add them to my collection as a matter of fact i think i need to add back the entire range because i'm just coming home from anguilla and i sold all the fragrances that i bought with me that i took with me to anguilla so we're gonna discuss that in another video. That's my first time smelling Dolce & Gabbana Rose. That one is fresh. It's fresh and crisp. It's not very sweet at all. So that one is really nice. I'm gonna smell the purple one. So apparently the purple one has in peonies. Yeah, so this one is all peonies. This one here, it's extremely, extremely mild. Very, very mild. It's like, um. A little sweeter than the original Dolce, than the, actually the one in the green bottle. A little bit sweeter, that's it, than that one. But very fresh and pretty. I do like the rose. I like them because they're really fresh. And like I said to you, for me, Dolce & Cabana is summer. I don't know if I'll be adding these to my collection, though, especially this one. I'm not quite sure. I do love the bottle, and as a collector, I would be interested in grabbing it, though. Ooh, there's a lot of nice selections here a lot that i already have in my collection now these prices are in euros you guys i want this perfume so bad like the voce viva intensa the new one i'm just contemplating really hard because you know i hate reading reviews but oh, that's the original actually this is the intensa i think because it's darker okay so this valentino voce viva intensa is an absolute love for me I need I have to get out of my collection I love that perfume can done love it love it love it can done also the Marc Jacobs fragrances I have them I've been wanting to get add one at least one Marc Jacobs fragrance to my collection I have not as yet but if I do of course I'm gonna go after this one let me just smell it I've smelled it countless times but why not smell it right okay so Marc Jacobs intense is really nice it is really pretty I can't I won't deny that it is a really pretty scent love it that one is definitely that one is definitely on my to buy list so that's Marc Jacobs and all my Versace's of course my way intense I need to get you know what I have so many fragrances where, where are we right here my way intense I've been contemplating getting that fragrance that's another one that I absolutely love you guys I actually sold I actually my, sold my C Passione Eclat as well I need to get this one as well you know what i have so many fragrances that i need to get and i think this is the new one. Oh, let's have a look so i think this is the new right so the right so this is the my way floral in the frosted bottle i think this was released for summer let's have a sniff so i just sniffed the floral and the intense so the floral is a fresh lighter florally version so you definitely get more of the florals in obviously the floral like the name implies you get fresh florals same dna but very it's fresh lightly sweetened the intense is beautiful i really don't know why people hate on my way intense so much but it is such a beautiful scent i don't think it's worth getting the original my way but the my way intense and the my way floral i think those are definitely a yes definitely a yes for me definitely a yes the i like i really like how fresh and pretty it is to be honest the florals are really nice in the my way floral now of course i'm sure you guys are probably wondering why have i not even zoned in so it has been a hot minute since good girl by jaja good girl glam has been released i have never smelled this fragrance so i'm gonna smell it right now for the very first time because obviously we don't have and have these fragrances in store anywhere in england but i've never seen it so this is my first time actually looking at the bottle this is my first time looking at the bottle so i can't wait to smell this perfume i hope i'm in love the reviews on this one was so mixed it was kind of like uh, i don't know i don't know so let's have a look you guys should see the look on my face when i smell this so 
this is pretty much the same as the supreme right so sorry very good gall this this smells just like very good gall it was just a slight bit fresher it's not as tart and they've toned down the sourness i guess from the lychee and the raspberries they've toned down that sourness in this one but it's the exact same fragrance more or less just fresher it's fresher and a little bit lighter nothing else um i'm not disappointed because i do love this fragrance i love this perfume did i sell it i sold that one as well i do love this fragrance i don't feel like it you need this one if you have that one so yeah i was yeah i'm not disappointed but i was definitely hoping for a lot more with this one i thought we'd get a lot more cherries i'm not getting cherries at all unless it's like a sour bitter cherry i'm not getting that at all with that one so yeah that's how i feel about very good glam very good girl glam is it a yes for me it's nice mm, i don't know if i'm gonna get it maybe for collection purposes perhaps in the future i'm not quite i'm not quite i'm not particularly crazy over it but i am very fond of the scent because i do love very good gold so so that's that one i see what other good scents here so they have the ysl what's this i'm seeing here so this original ysl leap or oh, this intense a new arrival oh my god there's a new arrival to the ysl ooh, ooh, ooh. so this is the ysl Le Parfum. So we have the YSL Le Parfum. So I think I probably saw this somewhere that it was going to be released. I'm not quite sure, but I didn't really zone in on it and I wasn't really anticipating it. So yeah, this should be interesting. Let's have a look, see what I've done with the YSL Lee because you know YSL Lee is already fantastic on its own and Intense is even better. Let's just see if they could bring out another flanker and do better than the original, which I highly doubt, but this should be good. Okay, you guys, peep the color of this juice on this paper. Okay, I just had to highlight that, okay? Because when they say Le Parfum, they have given us the Le Parfum. It is an intense version, but if you have the intense, you don't need that one. However, did they do, uh, did they give us an intense or a Le Parfum or a concentrated version? They definitely did. It's a lot more concentrated, a lot more heavier. But I would only buy this to layer. Actually, you know what? I'm so fond of YSL Lieb. I will have to get that perfume. I don't care what story keep. Le Parfum has to come home. It's good. It's good, good. Come to Cherie. So, but look at the colors though. So this is the intense and this is Le Parfum. I like how deep this juice is. This is bomb. But it's definitely an intense version. No doubt. They definitely gave us an intense version. Ooh. There are a lot of fragrances that I have on my to buy list. So over here, looks like the classics. You got your Barberry, your Jimmy Choo. This is another fragrance I have on my list to get. This is another perfume that I want to get, Jimmy Choo. I want you. The reviews on this is so mixed, but I think I like it. Like, it's just one of those things. So, right, like I said to you, the Jimmy Choo, I want you, is definitely a really nice scent. I don't have a lot of... Um, I don't, I'll comment just now. I don't have a lot of peachy fragrances in my collection. I think it's really nice. I think it's really worth adding to your collection to be honest i do like these olympia bottles the designs is fancier than the fragrance itself sorry to say i'm gonna say yeah the designs on these olympia bottles are much more fancier than the actual scent you guys i have never smelled my barberry black and to be honest i'm not really interested in smelling it so to speak but i'm gonna just just for this video and just to you know to smell it but I have never ever been intrigued by this fragrance. I don't know why. Okay, so my Burberry Black, first of all, the bottle is really nice. Oh, I like hot. how hefty and big it is. Um, It smells a bit dark and sweet at the same time. Dark, smoky, and sweet. That's what it, it smells. Dark, smoky, and sweet. It smells different, but nothing that I particularly feel like I would go crazy over, to be honest. As I expected. Don't touch me hand. <laughs> Yeah, and these are my Chanel's. You guys know how I feel about my Chanel. My Chanel. They got Kate Spade Pot Sparkle. I don't know that perfume. So, this is the second time I'm coming across the entire Aqua Allegoria line. You guys are going to see in a video that I filmed in St. Martin. Um, I, I got a chance to smell a lot of them. So, these fragrances are very, hardly ever available in store. These are really bomb, you guys. They are really quite nice. It's just that the ear, the toilets, and don't really last, but they are really pretty. 
They all, I don't know. I think they're nice to have, to be honest. No. Let's get on to Idole. This new fragrance, Idole Le Parfum Nectar. I have not smelled this perfume either. There have been so many fragrance releases that I have not got my hands on, you guys. I do like this bottle. And thank God they've changed these bottles so they could stand up now because it's so annoying. The ones I can't stand. And by the way, Idole, it's just a matter of time before I get a whole range because I like Idole. I think it's worth having the entire range so if i can recall clearly this idol fragrance is meant to have in some caramel i think cherries and a popcorn note it doesn't really stand out it's not particularly like outstanding it is nice it does have the idol um dna slight differences to it but the idol still shining it is nice though it is pretty it's a little bit more it's a little bit more I come in just now it's a, it's still bright like the idol original hmm i do like it but i was expecting something i don't know a little bit more but it is nice still now aura you guys have sampled aura and i think it's really nice it just i smell so close to la nuit Trésor nude it smells really like a mixture of um Soleil Crystal and La Nuit Trésor Nude. Like all these fragrances have a connection. I love Idol Aura. That salt water vibe to it. That salt water beachy vibe to it. I love it. I absolutely love it. No, 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 no. Chiara, don't touch it. Love it. Love, 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 love Idol Aura. I just it's just a matter of time before I get a. You guys I actually sold my um La Vie et Belle Soleil Crystal. There's so many fragrances that I have to get back. <laughs> Okay, another fragrance I saw over here so that I have never smelled. Tiara, come on. Tiffany, you guys, I've never smelled this perfume. Wow. Tiffany and Cole Love. It smells very aquatic. Oh, that was in my perfume. Yes, that's your perfume you have home. So the Tiffany and Cole is I love. It smells very aquatic, very fresh and Mommy airy. Nice. It's okay. Mommy smell it. Okay, put it back. Mommy smell it. Mmm, nice. Put it back for mommy. Yeah. So the Tiffany and Co. It smells very fresh and aquatic, not very sweet, and there's nothing really jumping out. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Tiffany and Co. Love. Mommy, that's my thing. No, it's not your thing. It's similar to what you have. Yes. It's similar. No, you have yours already, so don't even try it. Yay. So these are the Hermes line. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Hermes line. I don't have this one in my collection. Let's have a sniff. Ooh. So the this one is the Anjardin Ciel Lagoon. This one is actually quite nice. It goes Mommy, in a different direction. Calling me. Okay. It's not as aromatic and citrusy and punchy like the others. It's not very different. It's it smells more like your traditional perfumes like traditional french perfume this is actually quite nice the reviews on this is not that good but i actually love the scent profile of that fragrance mom yeah mom, I love okay yeah mom. this is actually really good okay mommy coming now coming now we're gonna go now all right so yeah these are the scents here in amsterdam airport quite a lovely set of fragrances i really love everything we got we got some lanny trezor of here Ooh, i love the selections in here you know what escada i've never smelled the escada fragrances to be fair okay so this escada is really pretty it smells sweet and mangoey like a candy fruity sweet mangoey vibe i don't know the notes in it but that's what i'm getting it's pretty it's playful it is nice it is quite nice to have to be fair it is a pretty good scent i do like that i'm not gonna oh it's a new arrival oh and it's a five nine euros you guys i don't know the prices in us i'm gonna probably like by time this video is up i'm gonna check it out and compare the prices for you guys but this is actually quite pretty i like that perfume it's like an easy grab and go scent but it's like it's fun very fun love it Yay. all right so that's it i'm off to get something to eat you guys but i think i'm gonna bring this little this video to the end i'm gonna probably browse around some more in you know in the airport to see what there is to you know shop around and sniff out so yeah 
There are a few beauty products here, Revlon, L'Oreal, and stuff like that. Nice, nice, nice yeah. stuff. Amsterdam seems to be a vibe. Come, let's go, yeah, yeah. Let's go, yeah, yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of gift sets here, so I love these gift sets. I like this. I've always wanted this one in particular. I try not. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mommy, regular. Shh. Ooh, I love that they have these little four bottle gift sets. I wonder what four fragrances are in here. So see, you're the perfume. Mommy, let go. We going now. We going now. I've never seen this one here. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to see what. The... Okay, there's like four different C's in here, but I can't really see the list of them. It's not like highlighted very clearly. But that's nice. Four different. I don't know what four red C's. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh my god. Shopping with this little girl. Come, let's go. Let's go get something to eat. Want something to eat? Okay, so we're gonna go grab something to eat right quick. So, yeah, but this is Amsterdam Airport. There's Gucci downstairs. I don't shop at Gucci. So, we're not gonna go there, but we're gonna see because, again, I have about three hours well shave off an hour now probably two hours i'm gonna grab something to eat fast for my daughter because she's hungry and then i'm gonna head on and see what there is to do in amsterdam airport